Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Daughter by Pearl Jam. So I'm really just going to focus on the acoustic guitar parts here. Um, just so it sounds good with one acoustic guitar, you don't have to worry about all those extra uh, lead guitar parts or all the guitar layers. Um, it's pretty much the same chord progression for a lot of the songs. It's going to be a pretty easy one to figure out. However, we're going to have to get into a special tuning here. So it's kind of an open G tuning. So how do you do that? You're going to take your sixth string, which is usually tuned to E, and you're going to tune it up to the note G. So the sixth string is going to be a G, and then on the A string, you're going to tune it down to a G. So those two notes on the adjacent string is going to be basically tuned to the same note. Then the D string is just tuned to D like normal, the G string is normal, the B string is normal. However, when you get to the high E string, you're going to tune it down to D as well. So then you strum all the strings and it's a G major chord. Alright, so it sounds pretty cool. Now there's a little thing before the actual chords start and it sounds like this at the very beginning of the track. It's not really part of the song, but it sounds cool, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, basically, it, you're going to learn this chord anyway. We're going to play the 5th fret on the A string, and then the 7th fret on the D. Alright, every other string is open, so just kind of drag your pick across the four bottom strings until you get to that 3rd string. And then you play this uh, B string, the high E, which is now the D string, obviously. And then come back down and pick the fourth string and then the third. Play like this. So you'll probably recognize that at the beginning of the song. It's a good way of kind of setting up the tune, getting it that tuning into people's ears. And then you start with that main riff. So because we have this in this weird tuning, we hit sounds great with just open strings. So you do that, and then you grab that chord again. And as you hit pretty much the four bottom strings again, you're going to take that chord, slide it up two frets, and go back down two frets and just pick it. And then come back up to the seventh fret. And strum it a little bit, so we have this. Then you back to open again, and then do that lick again. But in this time, instead of going up to the seventh fret again, you just come down to the open. So let me just go through it slow so far. Second time. Now the third time is the same as the first. through you just basically go back down to the fifth fret and hold on that chord now don't worry about what strings if you hit the higher strings because it sounds great transition in the song sounds like this. Alright, so they basically start the riff over again, but then just jump right here to a bar at the ninth fret on the low E, and the A, and the D. Obviously, those are not the names of those strings right now because of the tuning, but just for, you know, easy to understand, bottom three strings. And then you're going to grab the 12th fret on the D string. So just strumming these bottom three strings. When I say bottom, I mean in pitch, the lower pitch string. So that's usually how I refer to it, and most guitar players do. 
So I know these strings are physically higher, but we have, and then we go down to the 11th fret on the G and repeat. And then it goes back to the main riff. All right, so a little bit later in the song, basically does that part, but a lot quieter version of it, and they do it like this. So that's a lot of the same thing, except you're gonna you're gonna start with the same lick, sliding up to seven, back to five, and then come back to seven, and just let it and let it ring. So you can basically gonna do that again and again. And then when you're leaving this part, just go down to the fifth fret and build it back up. And you're back uh, with the full full bands back. All right, so it's pretty simple. As soon as you get that first riff down, you just got to get into this tuning. Um, but after that, it's a really fun tuning to, to play in. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.